iMovie is a registered trademark of Apple. I am in no way affiliated with Apple. In this clip, I'm going to talk about importing photos from iPhoto to use in your iMovie projects. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new project, and we're going to call this Atlantic City. We're going to make the aspect ratio standard and hit create. Okay, so we have a new project down here, and we can also see the project name Atlantic City. With that highlighted, we're going to go into our project properties, and we're going to set this up so we can kind of automatically create a quick slideshow of these Atlantic City photos that I took with my iPhone. So we're going to add transitions automatically. We're going to use the cross-dissolve transition. Uh, we're going to make the transition one second. We're going to have the photos all come in at four second duration, and we're going to apply this to all photos. And we're going to keep the photo placement with the Ken Burns effect. If you remember that from an earlier clip, that gives you some nice motion to each photo. You hit OK. Now we go over here to where this little camera button is, over on the far right hand side. You click on that, and it opens up your iPhoto folder. Now I have 15 photos here of an Atlantic City trip that I all took with my iPhone. I want to import all of these into my project, so I'm going to click on the first one, and I'm going to hold down Shift and click on the last one, and I'm going to drag all of these into my project at one time. And you'll see that the transitions will automatically be added between them. So let's do that. You see that it's adding 15 stills to the project. Now let's close this so we have more room. You can see all of our photos have been added to the project with a transition between each one. Let's go to the beginning and play this. You can see it's zooming in, it's using the Ken Burns effect, and it alternates between zooming in and zooming out. This is kind of a quick way to create a nice little slideshow. You can export this to iDVD, or export it to um, YouTube or a small file size that you can email to people. Now of course you can go in and alter the Ken Burns effect like we showed you in an earlier clip. You can also change the transitions, um, really, do, really modify this in any way. But Just wanted to show you a quick way that you can add some photos to a project quickly, add motion to them, and really within a matter of seconds have a nice little project. You might want to, for example, take your title tool and over the first trip, the first photo you can put Atlantic City trip, for example. Get rid of the subtitle text. Play that. There's a lot of different ways you can start modifying these photos once you get started.